Hi friends, this is Rue with Angel Messenger. We're going to do an unboxing video for Moon Child. And I, oh, they're from Hawaii, by the way, which is awesome. And we have gotten stuff from them before. They have really cool jewelry. And I am excited to open this. And if I seem a bit off, it's because I'm fighting a migraine. And so it's better, but I'm still in a bit of a halo effect. And I seem to be hurting myself today. I cut my finger in the shower somehow. Um, so I will try not to hurt myself anymore today. And let's see, I'm excited to open this because they had some cool stuff. Okay, reusable stuff. I know there are a couple of rings in here that I am keeping for myself because I need them. And I wanted to test out their rings and make sure they are good quality as well because I wasn't sure. One of the reviews they had um, made me want to make sure. So, okay. So, I got some um, smudge kits. I only got one of each because they, I again, I had to um, be frugal in my shopping because we gave a lot to, well, a lot for me. I, most of my profits from Christmas, I spent a lot giving to charity, so I didn't have a lot to spend on other things. So, but this one is really cool. This is Balance and Alignment Smudging and Chakra Clearing. Um, it comes with a rainbow smudge kit, a little abalone shell, a Palo Santo stick, and uh, selenite, and a whole set of um, um, chakra stones. <laughs> Um, and you can see the stones in the back. They're a little small, but um, they're all there. And I'm not sure. This one is $24.95. So everything's in there. Um, it's nice because it's all together and everything. So this one is Purification and Protection. It's Black Tourmaline Kit. And it has Sage, Palo Santo, and um, Selenite as well. Um, and then this kit, I need two of the, oh, okay, I did buy two of the, I didn't think I bought two of those, the chakra clearing kit, but it looks like I did. Okay. I got a bunch of bracelets because people seem to love these. Okay. That's the end of the box. Um, I should have grabbed scissors. Okay, please don't cut myself. So this looks like rings. Um, got opalite. There's a ruby and zoysite ring um, that I got, and it's kind of look like green and red. That one I bought for myself because um, it's good at helping with feminine issues and coming back from an illness. So it's perfect for me from what I'm going through like that one is this. So this manufacturer does a lot of adjustable rings. Um, so this is the Ruby and Zoe site. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm not strong enough to do it right now, but um, I will have to adjust that one for myself. And then there's ones that we're going to be putting in the store. Okay, so this one is Labradorite. These are really nice. So they're open underneath you, so the energy of the stone does get through to your skin. But I think that's Labradorite. I have to double check. I 
can't remember what I ordered and my brain is not working very well right now. Yes, this is Labradorite. So um, I will either send them in a little package like this, or if you'd like, you can buy a ring container. I'll have to test these out and see if they fit in our little ring boxes, the clear ones. Um, and I'll put that information on the site and let you know if they fit. Otherwise, um, we can put them in a um, other bag or something, or I have um, other little boxes. This one I think is Onyx. Yes, Black Onyx. This is a really protective ring. And I can add blessings to jewelry as well if you would like to do that. This one is Opalite. I love Opalite. It has a really great energy. So they're all the same style. And then um, it's hard to see, but this is an adjustable thing here. So I would say um, this is probably a size 7 maybe. And then you can adjust it from there. Actually, I have a ring sizer, so I will add that information to the website. Sorry. I think part of my headache is because I think I've been a little dehydrated. We've had a lot going on. And... All right, where's the tape on end on this one? Okay, gonna have to guess. I can pause this. Let's try that. Okay. Uh, yep. I have successfully managed to get scissors. So let's try this again. It's nice they wrap everything so well, but I am having difficulty getting to it. Okay, so. This one has a ring that we are putting um, in restock. These rings I know are well made because we've had them before. Well, one of them, but the other one's the same style. So this is the Amethyst Point Ring and we have had this in our store before. There's actually a necklace Ameth Amethyst Point that matches this. Um, but this is an adjustable ring as well. And, well, you can make this one smaller, but I would say that's about a seven, maybe. Um, get back in there. And this one is hematite, which is also protective and grounding. Um, it's like a silvery gray. probably a six, maybe a six and a half. But both of these would be easy, easier to make smaller um, of this style. Uh, but the other ones, they're already on their smallest setting. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. It's like Christmas when you open stuff like this. I really like their jewelry. I love their charm bracelets. And so I got quite a few of those. One we're refilling because it sold out. Oh, and this is cool too. These are it's a, like the style I just showed you, but it's a blue appetite ring, which is good for anxiety, also good for the throat chakra. is a rough stone instead of polish so it's not quite a quite as pretty as a polished rock but rough stones um, are more it's a purer energy so um, it's going to be uh, anything less processed by man is going to have a more pure vibration of healing energy so 
Actually, this looks bigger. This is probably set to an eight, seven and a half maybe. Um, but again, you could make this smaller just by squeezing it and pushing it together. But I would be careful, obviously, in doing that. Um, you don't want to break the ring, but um, I forgot to put my appetite bracelet on. I have a charm bracelet that I actually lost the inventory for. Um, I misplaced it. Oh, this actually fits my thumb. Um, but uh, I've lost them. I was going to give one to my friend, and um, I realized I lost them, so I had to take them out of inventory, and I just put them back in. And they're really bright blue, and they have a, a lotus on them. They're on the website, but and they're blue appetite, and this is blue appetite as well. This doesn't look as quite a bright blue, but um, it's because it's a raw piece. So these are really nice. A great stone for those dealing with anxiety, which many people are right now. So I may have to get more of those in stock. Um, all right, let's see which bracelet this one is. Oh, this is one of the goddess bracelets. It has a goddess charm. So I was going to open my computer so I could tell you exactly what it was, and I forgot. This one has amethyst. This might be dragon blood, jasper, and phrenite. Oh, oh, I got two kinds of bracelets in here. Okay. Let's start with the dragon blood, jasper, and phrenite. I want to actually see which this one is called. Because it's pretty. I want to be able to tell you. Okay, so this is called the Abundance, Love, and Purpose Dragon Bloods Jasper and Frenite Bracelet. Um, Frenite is a stone that I once was familiar with and forgot about, and I just have put a necklace, um, a handmade necklace from another maker in the store. But this is a really cool bracelet because it's got a lot of green in it. So um, the lighter color is the Frenite, and then this darker color is the Dragon's Blood Jasper, and, um, and then it has a leaf charm. So this is for abundance, love, and purpose. And these are 20, oh, I can't remember. Um, I'll have to look up the price. Yeah, I don't have the thing on there. Um, but they're really pretty. They have these little uh, cubic zirconia pieces here. And of course, these are ones you can stack as well. But I think, I thought this was really pretty. So we have some of those. And then um, this one is amethyst and, um, I wanna make sure I have that right. because my brain is hurting. Um, so. I don't see this one on here. Harmonizing energy. Oh, yeah, fluorite. Okay, that's what it is. No, oh, yeah, I see that now. Okay, so this is fluorite in amethyst, and it has a goddess um, image on it. If you can see that. The backwards. Okay, so the goddess is one sided. It's the back of her, and there's the front of her. And there's fluorite and amethyst, and then it's got the little cubic zirconia pieces there. So, um, I think all of these bracelets are around $20. Some of them might be, yeah, somewhere around there. Um, so this one, I just had this. Okay. So yes, yeah, so it's called the harmonizing energy goddess bracelet. So this is a feminine energy. Uh, 
I like that one a lot. So they are all going to be a little bit different as all stones are going to be naturally different, but they are very cool nonetheless. All right, let's open the next one and find out what we got here. Trying to peek. Rainbow Obsidian and Strawberry Quartz. And, oh, I know what that one is. Okay. This one is called the New Moon Bracelet, and it has a moon on it. a cool combination. Rainbow Obsidian and Strawberry Quartz. And then the the Cubic Zirconia pieces in this. Hold on one second. It's like a um, pink is the light helping? There we go. It's like a pink pink Cubic Zirconia pieces. And then we have Strawberry Quartz and Rainbow Obsidian. That's really pretty. And then it has a moon, which is double-sided. I like that one too. That is very cool. Okay, so we've got some of those. And then this one um, is for men or women. It's called the Dream Tiger's Eye Gemstone Bracelet for Spiritual Balance and Strength. It's a Dream Tiger's Eye, and it is very cool looking. Isn't that pretty? It's got all kinds of different kinds of tiger's eye. I only got a few of them, but very, very pretty. Eight millimeter beads, so they can be they're stretchy. Those are cool. Alright, we've got a few more packages here. I'll try to go through them quickly, but still want to show you them. and honey jade. Uh, this might be the third eye bracelet. It's got um, an elephant on it too. So you can either consider this to be um, uh, for some reason I can't remember the the elephant god. Um, breaker of uh, obstacles you can you can put that intention into this bracelet or you can consider this an earth symbol um, elephants are a, a symbol of the element of earth and they feel the earth's vibration through their feet it's also a symbol of matriarchy um, the elephants are a matriarchal symbol um, this one also has the pink um, the pink cubic zirconia beads and Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna make sure. So yeah, so Lapithus, and they, they said this is honey jade. I think this was supposed to be rutilated quartz, but they must have run out, and this is definitely not rutilated quartz, so this is a honey jade. Okay, this is a really pretty one too.
So this is chevron amethyst and clear quartz, and it has a lotus flower on it. It's a big lotus flower, and there's just a couple of clear quartz. There's one there, and then one here, so it kind of increases the vibration. But chevron amethyst, um, let me see, they, they had a different meaning for it, so let me see if I can find it here. But chevron amethyst is also called dream amethyst, so you could even wear it while sleeping, um, try to help you have um, dreams. Okay, they call it the stress relief bracelet. So um, obviously that's gonna be good for a lot of people. Uh, but it can also help you um, recall dreams. Chevron amethyst can. So that's a really great bracelet. I might keep one of those. So, okay, so we have some of those. And of course they're all unique. Chevron amethyst has um, all kinds of different colored bands through it. Um, as you can see, there's all kinds of different things. But it looks like each one of them has the same um, with one clear quartz on each side. So you have a, a chevron amethyst and then you have the clear quartz on each side of the lotus. Okay, so I've got three more packages. I'll try to get through them quick. Don't, I don't like to make our videos too long because I don't want to make people have to watch them too long if they want to look at their favorite piece here, but okay, this one, Moonstone and Black Labradorite. Right, this is a cool one. This is called the Moon Energy Bracelet. Piling up a lot of stuff around me here. Labradorite and Rainbow Moonstone. Okay, this bracelet seems a little smaller. Yeah, it's, well, it's probably seven inches. And then it has um, the clear rhinestones in this one. And it has an ohm symbol, too. That's really pretty. Black Labradorite is also called Black Moonstone. These are both um, stones of the moon and both uh, very protective when working with moon magic or any kind of magical workings. Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, this is a pyrite bra bra bracelet, eight millimeters, also good for men or women. Um, pyrite, also known as school's gold, is a good bracelet for um, Abundance, actually. Okay, so I only got a few of those. They are dark. You can see a gold sheen on them. They're kind of heavy, actually. Heavier than the other bracelets, but they're not like so heavy you can't wear it. Okay, that's a highlight. This one and one more package. This one looks like it has a refill of one of the ones that we had in stock. Yeah. And another goddess bracelet. So this one I wanted to get a few more of. I bought more than three, but I have to check that out. Um, so let me just double check. This is rose quartz and yeah, oh, I guess I did buy three. Um, this is the lotus flower rose quartz and strawberry quartz, and then it has the pink, um, uh, yeah, shiny, shiny things. Um, so this one we've already had in our store, and I just was refilling, um, I actually thought we had more in our store and I realized we were out of stock, so that's probably why I only bought three. Um, so we only have a few of these back in stock. And, let's see, this one is, looks like hematite and amethyst. Yes, hematite and amethyst. Um, let's see what they are calling this bracelet. 
I would say this is a protective grounding and um, also connecting stone. So it would help you to connect to the higher realms and to ground that energy to the earth. So I would say this is a manifestation bracelet. Um, they're calling it a grounding bracelet, amethyst and hematite. So yeah, I would say this would be a good a good bracelet for manifestation as well. So let me show it to you here. It's mostly um, hematite, but it does have amethyst and then the clearer um, um, other stones here. And then of course the little goddess here. So um, you could call in any um, feminine goddess energy. You could even have this be Mary or Isis or Kuan Yin, whatever um, feminine source you want to connect with and have this be a protective bracelet. Um, the amethyst is also protective. This is a nice um, energy. So um, you can have me bless bracelets for you, but I also believe that anyone is able to bless things as long as your intention is in the right place. Um, you do it from a place of love for that person or yourself. So, okay, so we got our last two here. Oh, this is, um, oh yeah, I was interested to see what charm that one had. I'm still not quite sure what it is. Okay. This is, this one has a couple different sizes of beads on it. Interesting. No, I guess it was already open. Okay. Um, this has Buddha on it, and it's kind of an open concave back, but it has Buddha bead on it. Um, looks like citrine and quartz, maybe. Um, see if I can find you. Um, Yeah, okay, energy, success, and creativity bracelet, um, citrine and clear quartz. So um, the citrine looks like it's six millimeter beads and then the quartz is eight millimeter beads. Oh, I guess I should put it on camera here. Um, so there you go. That's pretty on. Had a few of these guys. And the last one I'm opening here is blue labradorite. Blue? Wait, I can't read that. Blue labradorite and black tourmaline. I wanted to see what this looks like in person because it has a charm that I can't quite tell what it is. And they didn't list it on their website. So, let's see, this is called a full moon bracelet. It's got the clear um, uh, little stones. So this is black tourmaline, which is a protective stone, and then labradorite, which is um, a great stone for full moon energy. This, um, I thought on the website this kind of looked like a wolf. And I guess it kind of does with a moon. Um, you can see what it kind of looks like to you. See the tourmaline and the labradorite. I'm not sure why they call it blue labradorite. Maybe because it's a little bit has darker flecks in it. Um, I'm not familiar with blue labradorite as I am the other ones, but there's another one with a charm. Kind of looks like a wolf. I'm gonna go with the wolf, especially since it says it's a full moon 
bracelet. It makes sense. It's a wolf howling at the moon. Um, and wolf energy is about community and um, family. So it's not, uh, not a bad energy to connect with at all. So that's everything, it seems. I've got a few rings that will be in the store and a lot of bracelets. So um, it'll take me some time to get these in. And once they are, um, I'll put links under this video so you can find them. Okay, take care and I hope you are blessed and have a wonderful day. Take care.